All right, welcome to another episode of High Proof Ashes. I am one of your co-hosts, Jason J.B. Smoke, and I have with me over here... Duran, no cool nickname. Uh, again, throw them in the comments if you got them. That's what we're waiting for, right? Yeah, you know, throw them in the comments. Let's see what you got. We want people to interact with us, man. Subscribe, comment, like, hit the bell, yeah. like, all that good stuff. Share, you know, everything, man. Do man, it all. all. That good stuff. So, um, this episode... We've decided that we are going to highlight the Perdomo Reserve uh, 10th Anniversary Maduro. Yep. And um, this particular line, they've got two or three others that mm -hmm. go with it, right? Mm -hmm. I think they got a, they got the Champagne. They got the Champagne. They've got a Connecticut, and they've got a Habano. Yep. Right? Um, and interestingly enough, all the Perdomo stuff, um, at least this line and the ones that they say are barrel-aged, are all barrel aged. All barrel aged. Um, Their rep told me everything they do is barrel aged. Which I think is interesting because I'm wondering about the Lot 23. I'm going to have to look that up. Yeah. Because the Lot 23 is something that I tried. I think it was one of the first that I tried from them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's, it's a very budget friendly cigar, um, as are these. Yep. Um, I think these at retail in a, in a shop are what, nine, ten bucks, something uh, like that? A little Depending more than that. I, I want to say it was about 11. Okay. So it was around so, eleven bucks. You know, pretty pretty affordable. I mean, it's uh, again, you know, my thing, right? Like, uh, check out that band, the band, and the color, man. Like, listen, the, the like leaf color is that just, light hit it, and uh, it's just gold. beautiful. Like it, it's this makes me feel like it's a like a royal cigar, right? Like yeah, so like it's just know, beautiful. We'll, we'll put that up. I'll, I'll find a good picture of it. So like, it's got that a deep blue, deep blue, the gold, gold, and then that the the tenth anniversary band is black and gold. Um, and it's just a dark wrapper on that, man. Like, mm -hmm. great smell, you know, everything you want in a cigar, or everything I want in a cigar, I guess I should say. I'm with um, you. Full I'm body, you. full flavor. Yep. Um, it's like your last cigar of the night kind yeah, of cigar. Like, right. You got to finish here, bro, because, yeah. like, this one is, if uh, if you don't smoke full body cigars, this one will wake you up. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember smoking this one for the first time at, at OCL. And, and that perf, that first puff, I was like, whoa, whoa, okay, hold up. <laughs> There's something there. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm a big fan. Uh, we were talking about cigars we should do. So pull these out of the Humi. And uh, for once, I get to bring Jason something. Right. Love um, it. So we're going to smoke this, cut it, light it. Um, what we got as far as bourbons today, man? So you mentioned it the other day. And. Uh, I agreed. I thought it would be a great idea to do a rare breed episode. So yeah. we have both the wild turkey rare breed uh, offerings. Uh, right here we have the standard uh, rare breed bourbon. Mm -hmm. And this is the 2021 iteration. I believe, I believe. so. I believe That's, so. It's uh, running at 116 proof. Mm -hmm. And then next to it we have the rye, the rye version. Yep. yep. Um, which... Uh, I don't know the year on this one, the, the release, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a little bit lower. I think it's at 112. Yeah, this one's at 112. So we learned some interesting <laughs> things about it, right? Like uh, We did. We did. The mash build is virtually the same for almost all of Wild Turkey. All the bourbons are one mash build yep. and all the rides are one, are mash, one mash, build. mash build. And the only difference that you get here is the proof. Right. And, and the, the only difference here is the blend, right. which is 6, 8, and 12, 12. years. Yeah. Um, so... Good stuff. Um, little, these two bottles are a little pricier than the standard stuff that we bring to you. Yeah, this is true. The the regular the bourbon is um, fifty five, mm -hmm. I think, and the rye is more like seventy seventy five. Right. Um, Wild Turkey tends to put a little bit of a premium on their rye products. I guess they they, they you know they kind of view them as like boutique, mm -hmm. you know, smaller releases. Kind Very of thing. good though. Very good. Um, I I definitely prefer the rye over the the bourbon, which is you know, kind of crazy for us because, you know, we're not, we're not rye, rye guys. We're not rye guys. Yeah. But if you've watched some of the previous episodes, you know, we're bringing you some ryes. Yeah. And, and we're trying to open up our palates as well, yes, right? So uh, yes. rye has never been at the forefront for me, but yes. I'm finding more and more ryes that I like. Um, and that route, that wild turkey rare breed rye is one of them. Um, mm -hmm. I, I know that a lot of people in our group enjoy it as well. So it's one of those things that, um, I don't think you can go wrong with either bottle. Um, both very enjoyable. They are. You know, so. But yeah, which one are you going to start with? 
I'm actually going to start with the rye. All right, so, so. I'm gonna, we're going to differ a little bit this time. I'm going to start oh. with the regular bourbon, gonna go and I'm going to work to the rye. Okay. The bourbon's a little higher proof, yeah. um, which is not why I'm picking the rye. Um, He's scared it, of that proof. No, it's actually um, it's it's actually been a little while since I've had this rye, and um, I, I want to start with that. So... Um, The aroma on this is so good. Um, as with the cigar. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. I mean that you know, you better be ready for this oh, one because like look, I've had it, so I, I know what I'm I know what I'm, All right, I know I'm what's just coming. saying. I'm yeah, just I know saying. what's coming. This is definitely not like a you know, a first stick of the night kind of cigar. Ooh, buddy. Look at that smoke production. Ooh. I retroed the, the light <laughs> a little bit. And, uh... Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is this is different than, than where we normally are. Um, like, this is one of the more... When you talk full body, this is one of the top of the, mm -hmm. like, spectrum full body cigars. Right, right. So this is this is everything I want in a cigar. And, and for the price, I mean, you really can't beat it. You can't, right? You know, so, would you say it was eleven dollars ish? Yeah, eleven yeah. bucks. I mean, so for eleven dollars, I mean, you, you really can't beat it. You know, this is a what? This is a Toro size, I guess. I would they think don't call so. it that, but this is about a Toro. It's. Um, I was just noticing, like, it's not quite rounded, but not quite box pressed. Right. It's almost like partial box pressed. That's interesting. I enjoy these quite a bit. Uh, yeah. And it doesn't. So, again, this is a conversation we've had multiple times that uh, some manufacturers, when they go full body, sacrifice flavor. flavor. This cigar does not do that. Mm -hmm. Right. Like this is a cigar that um, if you enjoy full body cigars, you can definitely have this and, and enjoy the cigar. Yeah. Um, now, if you're not used to full body, when I tell you this is the top of the tip of the spear on like full body, if yeah, a, a draw on this will wake you right on up. Yeah, this is definitely not something that if you're a novice, yeah, uh, beginners go don't go here. This yeah. is this is not a beginner stick. No. Um, you know, <laughs> we you just reminded me. So we had a buddy uh, last last Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> He had his first Opus, mm. his first op oh, a Fuente Opus X ever. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, he started it and he's like, oh, this is amazing. And, uh, you know, uh, a friend of ours was like, you know, well, you're going to be feeling, you're going to be feeling a little something yeah, partway yeah. through that. And he's like, oh, no, no, no. But about halfway through. He's like that, that, that high was he, kicking. Yeah. He was getting that. Yeah. So when he was finally done with that, I, I think he went a good 30, 40 minutes without oh, yeah. smoking again. Oh, yeah. You know, so and he, th this he, is one of those. He definitely backed down the spectrum <laughs> yeah. on his last cigar. He did. He, he did. backed down the spectrum because it, it's a lot. And that's that's exactly what this is, right? So if, if you if you smoke this, um, understand exactly what it is, right? That's right. So we, we've given you all the warnings that we can give. <laughs> right. uh, we smoke cigars on a regular, so this, this doesn't uh, scare me or... Or deter me from smoking it because of how strong it is but it's a phenomenal cigar um everything about it is great mm. perdomo is 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 one of those companies that takes a lot of care in putting their cigars together um so i think you'll find the great construction phenomenal smoke production beautiful wrapper uh great bands like everything i look for when i go into a shop to buy a cigar so uh, pick up a few of these if you can So this with the the regular rare breed is a stout combination. So is this like, but this is for being a rye is surprisingly sweet. Yeah, like what, what 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 was the we looked it up? What was the the rye percentage on this? Man, I'd be lying if I said I remembered. It, it was like fifty something percent rye so. and like thirty something percent corn. Yeah, 
and it, it's just I, I don't know what rise they're picking to make this or, or you know how they're distilling it or aging it or blending it or whatever but this is it yeah like th this is one of my top top spirits okay I know as crazy as that sounds of it being a rye like <clears throat> the first time I tried this it was on the suggestion from Corey because mm -hmm. I told him how much I love the regular rye breed and he said have you rare ever... breed not what? rye breed rare breed rare, what? oh sorry rare breed rare breed yeah <laughs> And he asked me if I had tried the rye version. I said, no. And he's like, you bringing need, it next week. You yeah. Need, you need to try it. Yeah. So I went out looking for it. Okay. Found it. You didn't even give him time to bring it in? No. Okay. No. I, when Corey suggests something to me, I, I know I don't need to just try it. Yeah. Like, I can go and get it. Yeah. Shout out to the bourbon commander. That's right. <laughs> totally shout out to the bourbon commander. And, you know, he, he's never disappointed, and this is is another one that he's just, he got it right. Yeah, man. Like, you know, again, we trust his his knowledge and his palate for a reason. Um, yep. He has his nickname for a reason. Uh, so, you know, mm -hmm. he does a lot of things with uh, our group as far as sourcing bottles and picking out bottles. And, uh, of course, we've talked about our charity a couple of times, but... Um, he's the guy that we send to pick out all of the bottles that we we represent with our charity. So, uh, you know, we trust him with everything that we do. Um, go ahead and give our disclaimer. Please, 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 please drink responsibly, yes. smoke responsibly. Um, we do uh, have a podcast that is centered around cigars and bourbon. But as you can see, we drink lots of water. Um, we, we make sure that we're in a good space. Um, yeah. And, and not overindulging in anything. Uh, so make sure to drink responsibly. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So what are your thoughts, man? Like we're, you know, first third here. You know, we've, we've talked about it before about smoke production. I mean, this thing is... It's filling up the room. Well, it, it's like you can't even, you know, for a good second or two, you can't even see my face, yeah. you know between the, the us and the camera and I'm actually getting a little bit of this um, the best way I can describe it is, is like KFC notes okay like I'm getting these I don't I don't know if that's what they intended but it's a little bit spicy it's got a little like spice it, to it's it it's got this kind of smoky mm -hmm. I mean we're smoking it Rob so you know but like it's got this weird cured kind of taste to it yeah i'd be interested to see you know how they cured and aged the, yeah. the tobacco yeah absolutely um, i agree i'll have to go look that up do, do you know where they hailed this out of is this, i do not man to be or... completely completely honest i if okay. i'm not mistaken I, I think they said majority of their stuff comes from nicaragua okay um and that, make, that makes sense i mean you know they're they're the they're the the number one yeah you know in the world right now yeah. nicaragua so and, and a lot of the stuff we love is from nicaragua nicaragua yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, I'm I am trying to figure out when I can put uh, a trip there on the calendar. Yeah, um, it's something I definitely want to do. Be, um, <laughs> that'd be great. Yeah, you know, listen, I'm I'm looking forward to traveling a lot soon. Uh, you know, been working hard for the last couple of years, so it's about time to, mm -hmm. to do some things I enjoy. Well, and you're 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 in the midst of expanding. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, you got some good stuff coming down the line. A little bit, you know, a little bit of stuff. You know, we, we're working. We're doing what we're supposed to. Um, but, again, I, I just enjoy, right, smoking a good cigar and drinking good bourbon. So why not visit one of the places where lots of great cigars are made yeah. um, and hopefully smoke really, really well while I'm there? Yeah, I would love to do the, uh, <clears throat> you know, we're, we've said it before, we're kind of Drew Estate fanboys. Mm -hmm. But Drew Estate does a cigar safari. Yeah. And, you know, it's supposed to be very, very limited, very small, mm -hmm. you know, a few dozen people and yep. it's supposed to be incredible. But it's where? It, it's in Nicaragua. Exactly. Yeah, it's in Nicaragua. Exactly. Um, so we could go there and, you know. Yeah. Like I was just reading an article that uh, Oliva, they just opened up another uh, factory down there. Okay. You know, so. That's what I'm saying. A lot that, of great region, brands. Dude, that region is exploding. Yeah. When it comes to cigars yeah you know so 
they just recently celebrated their, um, I think it's their 200th um, anniversary of their independence. Okay. You know, so <clears throat> it, 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 it's a great, it's a great region for cigars. Right. That's for sure. You know, you got the, you, you got the three main regions, right? Mm-hmm. You got Esteli, Jalapa, mm-hmm. and, ooh, Pendega. Is that the other one? I think. I, I, I think the pronunciation might be a tad off, but I think okay. that's it. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm not going to try to pronounce it either because I don't know how to say it, but, you know. <laughs> You know, um, what are your thoughts on the bourbon, man? Like uh, for me, I get some. Yeah, what are you getting? Some spicy notes from from yeah. this, even without you know the rye, um, it's still a, a, a little bit spicier, um, but not to the point where uh, it makes it unbearable, right? Like it's very enjoyable, um, great bottle. You know, that was a little more proof good. to it. It does, you right? Know, so you're gonna it get does. a little bit more out of it. This one's a, a you know slightly less proof, um, but I think neither neither drink at their proof. Um, so know, it's not as sweet as some of the bourbons that we enjoy. That's right? probably true. Yeah. Um, and, and neither is this one. I mean, yeah. it's a rye. Um, you know, but if if you just handed this to me and said just try this, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed it's a rye. No, not I would at all. certainly have guessed it's a bourbon. Yeah, and it's not. Um, it's just. It's so smooth. Mm -hmm. Sweeter than a rye should be. Yeah. But it's very good, right? Both bottles are very, very good, very enjoyable. So, um, you know. But I think it's interesting that that it's the same mash build Mm -hmm. for for both iterations. The only difference is the the proof and the age. Yeah. Right? So we've done the the Turkey 101. That's this. But Mm -hmm. at a different age and a different proof. Um, which I think you said the turkey was aged somewhere between six and seven years. Right. So realistically, your one on one is probably in there. It's definitely in it's there. It's definitely in there, right? So because you've got the six it is year, one, it is the one on one. It is the one on one match. Not, it's just not blended and it's not proofed. Right. Down. So and the age is the only thing that's different. So you've got your one on one, you know, and then you've got the extra years on there. So, you mm-hmm. know, just it's, it's hard to beat, man. Like I, we we did the Kentucky Spirit. And it's it's simply a single barrel 101 that's mm-hmm. been proved that they proved the barrel down to 101. Correct. Whereas this has not been proved down. Right. It's, it's an actual barrel proof. That's right. And it's a blend of that six, eight, and twelve. Right. You know, so um, it's unfortunate that it's it costs so much it's, more. It's than, pricey. You know, it's pricey. But but even the even the Kentucky Spirit was about the same price as that. Right. You know, so. They definitely, uh, they definitely charge you more for the, the non-standard, you know, one-on-one stuff. Well, I mean, isn't that kind of the purpose, right? Like, right. It, it's definitely it's more boutique. It's more niche. Mm-hmm. You know, not everybody's gonna go out and grab a bottle of rare breed. Right. You're not gonna find it everywhere. That's the problem. It, it's also harder to find. Yeah, you're not gonna find it everywhere. Some places it's gonna be allocated, especially the rye. Um, I mean, I ha- I had to go somewhere else to get that. You know, we we, we tend to shop at one place, but yeah. I had to go somewhere else to get that. You know, it happens. It happens. I'm really enjoying my cigar, though, um, dude. It like the first time I had this, I was impressed. Yeah. I mean, I, again, I've had Perdomo before, and I knew I li- like everything I've ever had from them. I like, but I was genuinely impressed with this Maduro. Right. And it's just reminding me how good it is. And this is this is definitely not a stick I smoke every day, right? Um, mm-hmm. uh, so, our local lounge, Okoy Cigar Lounge, shout out to them. Um, they had a cut and light event where the uh, Perdomo rep came in, um, you know, and and had deals on cigars, all that type of stuff. So, mm-hmm. got some swag and different things. But it made me realize, like, I always forget how many great brands are out there because I'm that traditional guy and I like to right. stick to what I smoke on a regular basis. Right. So which, which is one of our themes, right? I'm, I'm sharing some cigars with yeah. you that you've never had and to, to kind of open up, open up your world a little bit. And this is one of those ones that I just don't think that a lot of it's on a lot of people's radar. No, like I, this brand. And, and I know Perdomo is a very big brand, but I just don't think a lot of people pay attention. Right. Yeah. Like, I um, agree. Pay attention to this specific brand of cigars. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. If you're not, 
you're doing yourself a disservice because yeah. they're very good. Yeah. They're they're champagne. I love Dude. opening up the night with that. I love the champagne. Um I recently had the Habano. Yep. You know, and I, we're confused about that one, right? I like, know. Yeah, it's Habano I mean, Connecticut. It says it's like, hub, yeah, I don't, it says know, I don't really know the particulars, but I mean I, um, look, it's that, a good cigar. That, yeah. Like that's <laughs> That that's we we've said it before. Like we're not we're not experts and connoisseurs. Like um, we know what we like, we know what we don't like. Right. Um, well, my thing was for the Connecticut to be, or or for the Habano to be a Connecticut, right? Like, yeah, it's still full of flavor. It's packed it with flavor. It like it's very good cigar. I smoked yeah. it um, on Mother's Day. You know, after I I cooked for my my wife and my mom, and uh, you know I I smoked the Habano out on the front porch, hanging out with the wife, ending the night. Um, well, no, I had that before I cooked, and then after I cooked, I actually smoked the Maduro. Mm. So, uh, you know, here I am smoking Perdomo. Right. So, if you pit the the that Habano Connecticut to the Champagne, what are your thoughts there? Like, do you prefer one over the other? So, unfortunately, I smoked the Habano. In a much smaller size than I normally smoke the champagne in, um, but I don't think I prefer one over the other. I think I could pull either out of the humidor and be just happy with either. Um, the Habano might have been a tad bit stronger. It is. It is a little bit stronger. Just a tad bit stronger. <clears throat> you know, the the champagne is really good for people starting out. Yep. You know, in in the cigar journey. I agree. Um, it's 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 got a lot of flavor, but it's not very strong. Um, doesn't have a lot of nicotine, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, they, they put it in that like yellow, mm -hmm. uh, cellophane, yep. which is, it just very makes it, that, it, it looks that much better when <laughs> yeah. you see it. Right. So it's very unique, you know, like, of course I'm a big, when I walk into the humidor, I want your, I want guy. your cigar to call out to me. Right. Visually. Yeah. So when I, I look across the room and that champagne and that Habano are going to stick out. Right. Because yeah. of the way it looks. Yeah. And of course, like if you get so I won't say the Maduro sticks out um, until you get up on it. Right. Mm -hmm. Because there's other things in the room that are just as visually pleasing as it. But yeah. as far as the champagne and the Habano go, they have colors that just really pop yeah. in a humidor. So they, the they draw you to them. Yeah. Right. Um, so that's a big part of it for me when I try a cigar. Um, I feel like if they invested the time and making it look good, yep. it's probably going to taste good. Yeah. Right. Because normally if I buy one of those cigars that don't have a whole lot to do with it, uh, as far as aesthetically how it looks, I probably don't enjoy it as much. Yeah. I mean, the, you know, the, the first thing that is selling to you is the, the visual presentation, the, visual, the look, the, the box, yep. you know, the, the aesthetics the bands, overall. The color of the of the wrapper, yep. you know, how the way, does those, the how presented. do all of those things mesh together? That's right, that's right. And and I, I got to give it to Perdomo. The champagne, they like all of those points are just perfect. Yeah, they're perfect. And it's a really really great starter stick. Um, you know, we've talked about starter sticks before. The the Habano Connecticut is a good starter as well. Like. So if I was to pit the two together, I would say that the Connecticut is a better cigar as a starter cigar. It's also a better cigar for new smokers. I agree. Um, that that Connecticut shade wrapper that's on it is super delicate. Yeah. It, it's it, it's very light. Yep. You know it. These darker uh, wrappers can really scare newer smokers. They should. Because if it's this dark, like this is really dark. It's like really dark. let's let's not pretend here, it's right? Really like there are other Maduros on the market that are not this dark. No, that's, that's true. This is like when I tell you, like it's it's the peak, right? There's this is strong. Yeah, this is up there, right? Like there's not a whole lot of cigars that are going to be this strong. This is one of them though that is really just it's a punch in the mouth if you're not careful. So, so I'm curious. <laughs> I know it kind of came back <laughs> in my face. <laughs> so, how do you compare this to the Intenso? I know you've only had that once, but so I, lo I love doing that. That's comparisons. not true. I've only had it once because what we smoked one on the podcast. Yeah, and we did. You gave me one. I did. Oh, you've already smoked, and it. I've already smoked it. Oh, 
So, I would say, I think, I know which one I would pick, oh, like, which one I would pick. If it depends was, on the time of the day. Really, though? Yeah. But, I, like, you're not picking, you're not, this isn't a first stick, neither is the Intenso, like, for you, like, why? I mean, you're picking them roughly around the same. But you say okay, it's, right, it's not ahead. a first stick, right? So for go me, ahead. you know, I jump right in. Like, I jump I into the deep end. Like, I, I don't need I to know. warm up. <laughs> so um, I'm not going to lie when I say I would go with the Podomo. Okay. Um, the Intenso is very, very good. Mm -hmm. But, like, this it's, thing is full body. Is the Intenso too good to start with? Is that the problem? I don't think so. I don't think so. But so I, I, realistically, like, either one would be fine for me to start with. I wouldn't care either way. Just being completely honest. This is um, true. I just think I like the flavor profile of this a little bit better. Okay. Just right. a tad bit better. Okay. Um, and, you know, look. Like, that's the thing about cigars and, and, and spirits. I mean, like, it's all about personal preference. Like, because me, even though I love this, I would pick the Intenso over this. Okay. I would. But for what reasons? I think it's more flavorful. You think it's more flavorful? I think it's more flavorful. I think it's a, the strength is a little bit tamer than, than this one is. It definitely is. This is full strength. Like, oh, this oh is, this, uh, you, you, you're not going much higher than this. Like, I don't, no. I can't think of anything off the top of my head right now. Maybe, that, the, maybe the Diablo. Oh God, and I'm not a. Uh, I don't want to say I'm not a fan, but I mean I don't hate it. I don't love it. <laughs> I don't only. Be, it's so strong. Yeah, like there are people out there. Like like I met a guy at the at the lounge one day, and he was talking about how you know he loves. I want full flavor, full full body, full strength, full this, full that. And I said, Have you had a Punch Diablo? And he's like, No. And I'm like, Okay, yeah, you need to try one of those. That thing is death. <laughs> Like, but there's people just who, thinking about that right now is like, but there's people who really want that. Yeah, yeah. But so I don't think the Punch Diablo is as flavorful as the Podomo. I agree with you. It, it's one of those kind of they sacrifice yeah. the flavor for the strength. Yeah, they kind of do. They kind of do. It's just like you want strong. We got strong. We got strong. This is strong. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Enjoy. You know. So I feel like. And this is personal preference. I feel like the Intenso is a little bit better balanced on the flavor. This has a different flavor. Balance is the word. Yeah. I, I will give you that. Yeah. The Intenso is better balanced. The it is. Intenso and the, and the balances construction... the flavor and the the strength yeah. very, very well. Yes. This is, is it flavorful? Yes. Mm -hmm. But the strength of this cigar is really what stands out. This is stronger. It's a strong cigar. Yeah. This is definitely stronger than the Intenso. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Um, but I like strong cigars. I, so that's yeah. that's a big thing for yeah. me. I, I'm with you. I love strong cigars too. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know. All right. Time for me to switch over to mm -hmm. the rye. Me too. And we'll just switch the bottles here. You'll Because you did the rye already. Let me, uh, let me rinse out here. I should probably do that. I should probably do that. I mean, Let's they're pretty close to the same. Do but, a quick rinse. But, you know. I don't think we've covered it, but, uh, you know, this is a cigar and spirits podcast. But please, you know, drink responsibly. Know your limits. Um, you know, if you need a ride, there's plenty of services out there that provide rides. But just drink plenty of water. and Yeah. I do think we covered it, though. I think I jumped into it pretty early, but uh, Did you? you might have no no issues with doing it again because, you know, we're responsible. We want you to be responsible. This is very true. Oh, great sound. Love the cork popping, right? <laughs> the aroma immediately is is much better. Yeah, I, I like it better. I mean, that's why I started with it. Like, I wanted to end here. I wanted to end here. Yeah, the aroma. There's so much more. There's more on the aroma side. I think there's more on the flavor side, too. Yeah, that's just... <laughs> yeah. It's just better. Yeah. Like, as crazy as that sounds, like, that's, this is amazing. Like, I mean, you are not hard to just have this mm. 
But if you can get your hands on that rye, I mean, it's just... I don't know of anywhere around here that it's not allocated. Oh, got that. The problem is, is damn near everything is allocated Th this in was our on, state. This was on the shelf. Yeah, I get it, but damn near everything in our state is allocated. I know. Like, I know. So, you know, we're in Tennessee, and it's just... It's one of those things. Like, I guess it's the nightmare of being close to Kentucky. The, the the bourbon culture here in Tennessee is like everybody wants mm -hmm. it. Everybody wants bourbon here. Mm -hmm. and Or just bourbon and whiskeys, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. Funny, though, like, so when I picked this up, <laughs> what was right next to it was um, the Russell's 10. Very good bottle. And Long Branch. Long Branch on the shelf. Okay, I know it was it was weird. The Russell's oh, and, ten is and, a great wait, bottle, and and the Kentucky Spirit, all straight up on the shelf, not allocated. Georgia, no, it's here in Tennessee. It, yeah, it was Riverstone. Oh, okay, I know. Okay, it's another local, another <clears throat> local spot in Riverstone. Um, Funny thing, I brought this up to the counter, and the guy instantly like woke up, and he was like, "Oh." That's a nice bottle. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's on your shelf back there. And, you know, he's, you know, so we got to talking. You know, he's like, oh, you didn't just come up here with some Jack. No. God, sorry. no. Sorry, Jack. I'm not sorry. <laughs> hey, listen, I, I've i got that. I've got a bottle of Jack that's very good. What do you, what, you got some gold or some Koi Hill or uh, It's got? not Koi Hill, but it's, it's 130 proof. Hmm. Uh, that's up there with the Koi. So it, it's good. What do you have? I don't remember what it's called, man. It was a birthday gift. It's a birthday gift from a friend of mine. And uh but it's it's a good bottle. Huh. All right. But it's it's a smaller bottle, so I kinda Yeah, yeah. You know. Because I don't light. know how hard it is to get. Because I'm gonna be honest. One of like, those little three fifties or whatever. Yeah, it was yeah. one of those that like, you know, I didn't expect it, so I haven't ever went to the store looking for it. Okay. So I don't I don't know how hard it is to get or okay. you know. So I'm not a um I'm not a hater of Jack. There are several Jacks that I will drink. They're and they're they're very Name good. One. The Koi Hill is great. The Koi Hill is great. The gold is the great. The gold is good. Um, you know, we're just not drinking no uh, the regular, the number Jack nine. Jack Daniels number is it nine or is it seven? I think it's not. Oh. See, 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 we don't even like, know. We don't even know. Like, <laughs> I like think we don't seven. drink it. I, Lucky number seven. Is it number seven? I think it's number seven. Okay, right. God, we're gonna get so much hate mail for this yeah, one, yeah, bro. <laughs> we how love you, you, Jack. How we do you do not? How do you not know? Where I love you, Jack. Listen, man. Let's be honest. I'm rocking with Uncle Nearest. Okay. Yep. And that, hell, that's just what it is. And hell, recently we were rocking with the Dickles. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like the 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 what is it? The 15 or whatever it is. So anything. So the eight year, I, I believe there's an eight year. It was okay. I think there's a nine. Twelve and a fifteen. The fifteen is like. It's good. That's it's good. It's good. Like a bottled in bond came in, which was good. I don't think I had that one. Hmm. We've had some different things come in that are pretty good. <clears throat> I mean, look, don't don't knock these these big brands. Um, you know, especially big for a reason. Especially when you see these these large, the the large the 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 age. The long aged ones, the what was it, the uh, the Knob Creek? Yep. You know, there's a lot of people so, who are yeah. not a fans of Knob Creek. I like the Knob Creek I had. I but don't when remember. you get to the nine and the fifteen, that Knob Creek nine, bro, I had a single barrel. It's good. I wish I could find it on its shelf. It's good. I think, I think Paul's has it. All right, I might have to go check. I might have to go check that out. We try not to name drop too many people, like <sighs> right. But we might have to check some things out, yeah, man. But we're getting close. We are. So what's your final thoughts, man? Your face says the rye is it all day. You are exactly right. Yeah. But well, <coughs> we're talking about the difference between like amazing and great. Yeah. Like honestly, because this is great. It's just that the rye is amazing. Yeah. Like, it's just, that's where it's at. Yeah. And, I mean, and that's why it's almost gone. I mean. Yeah. Well, again, but, so, don't use the, the comparison that's sitting right here. 
Jason just picked up the bottle of the regular rare breed. I did. The rye has been in rotation for a little while. It has. So it's been circulating. But, so don't but take that great. as a, we don't like the, the regular rare breed. That's just a new bottle. Whereas yeah. the rye, we've been... That's very true. We've been knocking it back for a little bit. That's very true. So, I mean, you know, if you don't have either one and you see them, like, mm -hmm. pick them up. Like, it's, they're so good. Yeah. They're, they're so much. So, if, like, if we had the 101 sitting right here next to it, like, let's just get rid of the 101. Yeah. I mean, seriously. Yeah. yeah. Because as much as we love the 101 and as much as I'll, like, throw it out on a handle and, like, kill it in mm -hmm. no time, these are just amazing. And, as far as a cigar goes, this is a great thing to, you know, end the night on. Absolutely. I love it. Um, I love the price point. That's love, one of the best parts like, about it. Yeah, I love the I love the flavors. I love the smoke production. You know, the construction is amazing. I mean, the thing is burning immaculately. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but like the 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 band is super even burn. The band is beautiful, deep blue with you know, tons that of gold wrapper, inlay. Man, that wrapper is just dark gold wrapper, or I mean, um, dark, you know, just dark wrapper. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. It's hard to beat. I like it. Should we wrap up there? All right, man. Well, thank you for joining us on another episode of High Proof Ashes. Make sure, like we said, to like, comment, subscribe, uh, share, definitely share, and hit that Please. little bell so you know when we drop new episodes. I am Duran and my co-host, Jason J.B. Smoke, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for being here. See you later. <laughs>